The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning and welcome to the Broncos Broadcasting Network. I'm Victoria. And I'm Felicity. And on today's broadcast, we preview next week's Spirit Week and Homecoming. BBN News begins now. Today is Friday, October 4th. If today is your birthday, you were born on National Taco Day, and you share your birthday with Alicia Silverstone. On this day back in 1927, sculpting began on the face of Ralph Mushmore in Black Hills National Forest of South Dakota. After 12 years, the image of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt would be carved into the mountain. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday. Attention seniors, schedule your senior portraits today. Katie will be hosting two more road shoots on campus. The next one will be take place on Monday. The only way for your photo to appear in the yearbook is to attend one of these road shoots or to visit Katie's studio. Register today at katie.book slash book. Attention seniors, it's time to pay your senior dues. Senior dues include a yearbook, class shirt, lawn sign, pendant, and access to class events throughout the year. Your senior dues are now $145 and the price will go up again November 1st. Get your senior dues today. The October testing dates have been announced. All 10th graders and those seniors that need the algebra graduation requirement will be taking the PSAT on Wednesday. Seniors who have not met the algebra or ELA graduation testing requirement will take the non-college reportable ACT on October 29th, 30th, and 31st. Polk State will be holding two open houses where you can meet staff, complete an application, and tour the campus. The Winter Haven Campus Open House will take place October 15th from 5 until 7 p.m. On Lakeland Campus, Open House will take place on October 22nd from 5 until 7 p.m. Attention seniors, do you need assistance with using the Common App to apply to college? There will be a free Common Application Workshop on next Saturday, October 12th, from 9 until noon at Tom Fellows Community Center. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Brown in guidance. Next week is our annual Spirit Week leading up to homecoming. On Monday, students and teachers will stop styles during our teacher-student swap. <clears throat> on Tuesday, pair up with friends to come school dressed as words that rhyme but have nothing in common such as Wild West and Best Dressed. On Wednesday, come to school dressed as either a biker or a surfer. Thursday is Black and Gold Rodeo Day. Make sure to label your jeans with your class year. Also, Thursday night will be the first ever Davenport Homecoming Parade in our homecoming football game. On Friday, it's Generation Day. Freshmen will be dressed as babies, sophomores as college students, juniors as professionals in the workforce, and finally, so seniors with, will be dressed as senior citizens. Which all leads up to Saturday when DHS presents Enchanted Gardens. Samaya has more information on our homecoming parade and events. I'm Samaya with the BBN News, and today we're getting more information on the homecoming parade. Now for your Stampede update. There's been some slight changes in it. It's still on the same day, though, so we're excited about that. So October 10th, Thursday, October 10th, is a very important day. We're going to have a pep rally, two of them. That's awesome. We have freshmen and sophomores together, juniors and seniors together. We are going to have a Davenport Stampede, which is the first one ever, so it makes it so important that you're there. And that is at 5.30 now. We had to move that just a little bit. So 5.30, if you're in the parade, be there at 4.30 in line. Um, remember, you're going to park at the Davenport Police Department parking lot. And then the football game is at 7.30. So everything is October 10th. Now, we have a lot of floats in our parade. I think we're up to 35, 36. We have Boone Middle going to be in our parade. We have Lofman Oaks Elementary is going to be in our parade. We have Little Leagues in our parade. And, of course, all of our amazing clubs and our athletes will be in it as well. So um, one new thing is we're going to have trophies for three different categories. So make sure you organize and colorize and make your car, your float, your golf cart, the best that it can be. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by and talk to me, but please come to the parade. It's going to be so exciting. Good morning. I'm really excited to talk about the stampede that's about to happen here in the town of Davenport. This is our fourth year and this has always been kind of the dream or vision that we work to, to get back to the tradition of bringing uh, during homecoming, going through your hometown. So this is really cool that we have this opportunity City of Davenport has been outstanding with helping us uh, uh, plan the process. I know that we're going to have uh, multiple teams. I know our boys and girls cross country is going to be in it. I believe girls basketball is going to be in it. We're hoping ROTC is going to join. The City of Davenport boys and girls, um, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts are supposed to uh, be out there. We've got horses. 
Um, we, of course, are going to present the homecoming candidates. We're going to have the step team do a show at the Tom Fellows Center up on stage. We're going to have, you know, a DJ out there. So it's really uh, coming all together. And I can't thank Miss Clink enough because she's done a lot to put all this together. We're also going to have maybe the Rattlers from Haines City coming in, the, the little football teams and any other cheerleading program. Hopefully, like the Davenport Patriots can come through and our cheerleaders and be a part of it. So it's just really a great opportunity to get our uh, school and our community to work together for a common goal. I'm Samaya with the BBN News. Today's ACT word of the day is burgeoning, meaning growing quickly and flourishing. It didn't take long for Sierra's burgeoning cake business to have more customers than she could have handled. The DHS Theater Department proudly presents Puffs on October 18th and 19th at 7 p.m. Get your ticket today by scanning the QR code on the screen. As we mentioned earlier, the first ever Davenport High School Homecoming Parade will take place in downtown Davenport on Thursday, October 10th at 5.30 p.m. Be there for the Davenport Stampede. If you are worried about making it back to school for the game, you can purchase a bus ticket for $5, which will take you from the school to the parade and back to school in time for the game. Attention seniors, there's still time to order your caps and gowns. Please go to hefferjones.com for more information. Congratulations to BBN's own Ashley Ramirez, who this week was chosen to host the Students' Television Network's weekly high five. Out of STN's nearly 40,000 members, Ashley became the third person to ever host the high five. Congratulations, Ashley. On to Broncos sports. The boys football team will be hosting the Haines City Hornets tonight. Kickoff is at 7.30. The girls volleyball team on Tuesday defeated Central Point Christian Academy three, three sets to one. The girls' volleyball team is back at home on Tuesday when they host the George Jenkins Eagles. Thank you for joining us today on the Broncos News. I'm Victoria. And I'm Felicity. Have a great day, Broncos.